what happened yesterday in New York City. The American principle that no one is above the law. Oh, what a delightful spectacle of modern democracy we have here. The Biden-Trump verdict, a real-life soap opera that makes days of our lives look like a documentary. And it was heard by a jury of 12 citizens, 12 Americans, 12 people like you. Imagine two grown men, one of whom can't find his way off the stage, while the other is still convinced he's the star of his own reality show. It was a process that Donald Trump's attorney was part of. Duking it out in the hallowed halls of the White House. Who needs HBO when you have this kind of drama for free? Deliberation. The jury reached a unanimous verdict. They found Donald Trump guilty. President Biden, who probably needs a GPS to find his own approval ratings, faces off against Trump, who's as subtle as a bull in a china shop. Just like everyone else has that opportunity. That's how the American system of justice works. And let's not forget the political analysts, who are basically the gossip columnists of the political world, feasting on this banquet of absurdity. Just because they don't like the verdict. Our justice system has endured for nearly 250 years. You have to love the irony. A building symbolizing unity now hosts a drama that makes keeping up with the Kardashians look tame. And we should never allow anyone to tear it if down. If you like our content, it's please like, subscribe, and share. That's America.